This Ag Business Update brought to you by American Implement, indebted to the past, committed to the future. In a moment, Brian Schultz of the Kansas State Fair. Wolfter Construction and Irrigation has been around a long time, and a lot of folks have trusted them to design, build, and service all sizes of commercial and on-farm storage for grain and equipment. Wolfter is also known for their outstanding irrigation division where they stock a complete selection of nozzles, regulators, drops, gear drives, electrical, and structure components. Looking for an electric motor? Wolfter has a large selection in single and three phase. Next time, reach out to the pros who have decades of experience at taking care of business the right way. Wolfter Construction and Irrigation. S&S Trailer Sales with two locations in Ness City, Kansas is where everybody goes to buy or rent trailers. They feature the all-new, all-aluminum Mauer Grain Trailer with all of the electric options, the easy-to-load detached trailers, and a huge stock of header trailers. At the west location, you'll find bumper poles, goose necks, and oil field specialty trailers, along with flat and utility beds for pickups. S&S Trailer Sales in Ness City and on the web, but remember, you do have to spell out the and. And joining us now is Brian Schultz, who is the general manager of the Kansas State Fair. It is fair time. Uh, Brian, where, where does the time go? I know. We're we're just we're sitting here going, wow, last time I looked at the calendar, we had over 100 days left, and now we're just down to single digits. Right. So the fair will get underway uh, later on this coming week. Uh, I know people are probably already lined up, ready to get things underway ready for another big run. And it's uh, what I'm seeing is you've got things looking good. You're ready for to welcome a lot of folks to Hutch. Most definitely. Yes. Uh, the vendors have started moving in. Uh, we've got a lot of displays already set up uh, starting right after Labor Day. We will have all the indoor vendors loading in. So yeah, it's just like boom like that. And, and it's all ready to go. All right, let's talk about, uh, you know, what maybe somebody really wants to go and see at the fair. Of course, livestock shows, 4-H, FFA exhibits, open class from all the counties that bring together. But uh, this first weekend, uh, a lot of uh, youth shows, that very popular Grand Drive. What a uh, what an emotional uh, time, but also it feels it should fill every Kansan with pride to uh, to watch those uh, those young folks. Absolutely. And you know what? This is our 25th anniversary of the Grand Drive. And, you know, I think everybody is really excited uh, about all the, the great uh, things that have gone over the, the last 25 years. We have the Peterson Farm Brothers coming in to do a free concert on Saturday night. We've got our gala. We've got, you know, and the kids, they're just, you know, so excited. I was I had the ability to read some of the scholarship applications. And you know what, darn it, these kids are these are pretty intelligent children, uh, kids, not, not children, right. kids that, you know, they're looking at their future and, and, and they're seeing that agriculture is a, is a key priority and want to make sure that uh, staying in Kansas is a big part of it too. So really, really excited about seeing a lot of those kids out there in the show arena. In the next uh, weekend, it kind of in the end of that week, uh, a lot of the open class shows, always, uh, always a big event. And Brian, you and the fair board have done. Oh, shoot. Hang on here. I've got a, are you hearing that ring? I'm afraid it's going to yep. come across. There we go. Okay, here we go. Well, Brian, you and the fair board have done a, a great job as far as to keep the facilities up. Uh, you know, animal comfort is one of the keys to whatever species. And so hats off to you all. Well, thank you. Yeah, I mean, we couldn't have done it without the legislature backing us on a lot of this stuff. So we, we thank you and the rest of the legislature as well uh, for helping us do that. But yeah, that, I mean, creature comfort is big. Uh, showing an animal is not a cheap uh, experience, so we want to make sure that when they are here that everyone is comfortable from from the animal all the way up to the people that are out there working and showing. All right, so uh, we're going to take a break here, talk about uh, some of the big concerts. You've got some big names coming to Hutch as well as uh, other uh, maybe new things that are going on and more partnerships that are happening We'll do that in just a, uh, just a moment. Brian Schultz, General Manager of the Kansas State Fair, is joining us. Back with more in just a moment. The cost of everything has gone up dramatically over the last 75 years. 
one exception. Keeping electricity affordable. Wheatland Electric, delivering energy for life, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. When you've had a best friend for over 50 years, you develop a trust. And the Scott Co-op has been a trusted rural friend since 1957. A co-op keeps money in the area, doing business for and with their members. And that helps keep their hometown thriving with keeping money in the community. Scott Co-op is not just an elevator. It's the rural way of doing business. So when you see an elevator, remember your friends at Scott Co-op. And our guest is Brian Schultz. It is fair time. The Kansas State Fair just going to get underway the end of uh, next week in Hutchison. Uh, Brian, uh, you know, you can't put on a fair without a lot of uh, uh, help, whether it be corporate sponsors, whether it be a lot of volunteers. And that's the one thing the city of Hutchison does. They always come out in full droves and want to put on a great show, not only for their communities, folks come in, but also that people have a good experience there at the fair. Most definitely. You know, we, we have got a great group of people from our board of directors to our superintendents, to our volunteers. You know, on average, it takes about 600 volunteers in addition to our staff to make sure that the Kansas State Fair goes off without, well, a semi hitch. But <laughs> you know how that goes. Sure. But yeah. And, you know, in our community I always steps up. The city of Hutch helps us out. Uh, with a lot of things, so we we couldn't do it without everybody's help. Let's talk about the uh, the Fair Foundation. They're kind of a different arm, but they uh, help support the efforts that you all are doing. And they had a a big task. There's a new building on the grounds that folks will find. Most definitely, uh, if if you're familiar with the the Kansas State Fairgrounds, uh, just to the east of the Domestic Arts used to be our old Fine Arts Building. Uh, last year, right after Fair, the foundation. Uh, had it tore down, and now we have the brand new 1861 club, and it will be, uh, everybody's going to want to go in there and get out of the sun uh, and maybe have their favorite beverage and some food and great entertainment that's going to be in there. But it, it's also an opportunity for year-round um, events like weddings and quinceañeras and corporate meetings and stuff like that. Just another opportunity for here at the Kansas State Fairgrounds. And you also really worked hard to get some good entertainment in the grandstands. Uh, what are some names that uh, maybe we haven't had some names like this for a while? Yeah, and you know our ticket sales are showing that too. We have a uh, first night Winona Judd with Kimberly Perry. We have the Goo Goo Dolls. On Sunday, we do our whole Hispanic Latino Day. So that goes from 3 o'clock until about 10 o'clock with a variety of mariachi bands and dancers and, and uh, Oscar Garcia, who's one of our locals here that does – a DJ, um, Monday nights are demolition derby, Tuesday, you know, everybody loves Taylor Swift and all of her stuff. We've got the, the Let's Sing Taylor, uh, a live band experience. Uh, this young lady that does uh, Taylor Swift music is phenomenal. Wednesdays are Christian night with Casting Crowns and Katie Nicole. Uh, we've got Broadway's Rock of Ages band. This is uh, a group that was on uh, Broadway in New York. Uh, they do a phenomenal job. It's gonna be great to see that. Uh, Friday night, we have uh, uh, Pop Evil with Diamante. Saturday night is going to be a humongous concert for us. We have Riley Green with Ella Langley. Uh, and then to close out the Kansas State Fair, we've got the Oak Ridge Boys. And tickets are going through the roof for that one. Uh, Riley Green, all of them are doing really, really well. So if you haven't gotten your tickets yet, make sure you get out there and get them purchased. All right, uh, Brian, again, a couple things. Oh, anything new on a stick this year? Or just you know, there. <laughs> we've, we've got some really kind of fun things. We've got uh, a uh, a summer sa or a brisket sausage with burnt ends on it at Carrie's Beer Garden. Uh, Charlie's Wine Garden has got taco sliders. Um, we've got, uh, and do six, they're doing a s'mores quesadilla, which mm -hmm. I've seen it. And I, a friend of mine has tasted it and they said they were phenomenal. Brackets Concessions is doing a pickle wrapped, or excuse me, a pretzel wrapped pickle. Okay. And from what we have heard, that is going to be pretty awesome. And then there's some uh, grilled cheese slammers that are going to be out there with uh, barbecued pork, macaroni and cheese and fried pickles served on Texas toast. And so I'm, I'm getting kind of hungry talking about all this fair food and pronto pups and, and all that great stuff that's going to be here at the Kansas State Fair again this year. All right. Now, folks can get some discounted tickets and also 
uh, with some technology, there's a new app that'll make that experience even uh, better. Most definitely. You know, yes, if you haven't bought your tickets, get them early uh, because as of September 5th, uh, all the prices will go up. So you're you're saving quite a bit. We still do have some packages available. So if you want to do a senior pack, a couple's pack, a kid's pack or a family pack, you know, most of those include gated mission tickets, uh, food, all that kind of stuff in there. So make sure that you get out to the Kansas State Fair, uh, com website and purchase them. And if you're a technology person, download the Kansas State Fair app. The neat thing about that, you type in the word Pronto Pup, it'll tell you exactly who sells them and how to get there from the location that you're at. Uh, just technology is just bursting at it seems here at the Kansas State Fair. All right, Brian. Well, we know you've got a busy schedule, so thanks for spending some time with us. We look forward to seeing a lot of folks at this year's Kansas State Fair. Good luck. Well, thank you. I appreciate being on your, your show today. And remember, get out to KansasStateFair.com and check out all the great things that are happening here for the 10 days of fun here in Kansas. Brian Schultz, General Manager of the Kansas State Fair, has joined us. Let's take a break. We'll be back with more in just a moment. Would you like to see something done about high gas prices and low unemployment? Western Place Energy in Campus, Kansas is doing something about it. They're a proud part of Growth Energy, America's ethanol supporters, and they employ 38 people and will be adding more following the expansion. Ethanol fuel not only reduces the cost of regular gasoline, it's good for the environment and keeps money right here in the United States while supporting local rural jobs. Western Plains Energy, doing something for the future. KBUF Radio has ag information for you weekdays beginning at 6 with Agriculture Today. And then it's the KBUF Morning Show until 11 a.m. as we uh, talk with newsmakers, have market discussions, as well as talk weather and all kinds of agriculture news and information to help you make good decisions on the farm and ranch. Follow along on our social media pages, or you can listen to KBUF or any Western Kansas broadcast station online at westernkansasnews.com. I'm Ken Rogers. Thanks for watching.